Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to New Super Mario Bros. DS. Last time we went through Worlds 1 and 2, and now we're gonna go to World 3, which is basically this game's beach, underwater kind of level, I guess you could say. And we're starting with a, off with a underwater stage, so how about that? Um, yeah, not much to say about this really, like, um, never really been d that big of a fan of the underwater levels in these games. Um, they aren't usually too long, and, uh, this is gonna be bad. Yeah. Oh well. Um, I don't re really remember a lot of the underworld levels too much, um, or like, really much about the game at all. Because I, I, the last time I played this game, before the, um, before this playthrough was like, years ago, and, um... Now, yeah, so we've got the stupid screen gimmick, and... I, I get that they're trying to make... That the original DS version was, um, trying to go like... Oh, okay, so the, um... You have two screens, so let's switch to the other side, and that's an instant kill, by the way, so don't get eaten by that. Um, I get that they're trying to do, use the whole, like, two-screen gimmick, and when you use the pipe, sometimes it goes to the other side of a screen, but it just doesn't translate to the Wii U at all, like, they should have put that in consideration or something, I, I don't know, they probably had to change quite a bit for that to work right, but, that, that's really tight, by the way, jeez. Um, but, like... <laughs> If they just got rid of the the whole, like, changing the screen for the Wii U, it would have been fine. But I don't know how that would work uh, without, like, changing a bunch of coding or whatever. Because um, these are just, like, basically mod uh, ROMs of the original games. And it only works because the gamepad... You have the gamepad for the Wii U, and I can't make this stupid jump. Uh, okay. There we go. Uh, like, the gamepad- the gamepad acts as a second screen for the Wii U, which is basic- f As far as I can understand, it's the only reason why it can- Uh, the D DS can work on, uh, Wii U. Um... I mean, they're, they're also, like, giving you a bunch of options. So, you just have the big screen on the left and the bottom screen on the bottom- On the bottom right. So, I guess there's ways to use the- a user DS emulator on one screen devices or single screen devices. I mean, like, there's DS emulators you can find which um, are usually, from what I can tell, they're pretty awkward to use. The little I've tried. Um, I, I tried using a DS emulator a couple of times in the past, I believe, and it's just. I cannot get these red coins. <laughs> something to do. Something. Just. Some, uh, having bad times today. I don't know. But, yeah, just... DS emulators aren't usually the best, and I guess the, the Wii U, um, while, as we've seen, with the whole, like, screen issue, and stuff like Sonic Rush, where it constantly changes uh, the main focus between the two screens cons uh, over and over all, the, all the time, um, may not be the best for how the Wii U does it. Um, I mean... That, that, I guess there's that, um, method of, uh, that one screen method where you see both top and bottom screens, um, in the same kind of, uh, screen ratio or whatever, um, so that works, that, that would work enough for that game, and, um, that was bad, yeah, we're just gonna ignore that, uh, but, yeah, I... I don't know. I think they did a decent enough job with the DS emulator for this game, for this, for the Wii U. Um, and, you know, considering it's the whole, there's the whole two screen, dual screen gimmick, um, I guess they did the best they could. But, you know. It doesn't come without its, uh, faults. Finally. Alright. Don't know why I'm failing so much. This is not really a difficult level. It has been a while. 
Um, I I should um, mention this. Um, I uh, the last time I recorded this game, uh, which was the first session, was at least two months ago. So um, yeah, I'm a little bit rusty, as you can probably tell, and um, yeah, um, not really into the swing of things as much as I should. And I've basically just been recording nothing but Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, I barely had the time to even really play not, uh, games of my own time. I've basically just been doing Kingdom Hearts 2 and a little bit of Splatoon 2 every now and then. Um, though I did go back go back to um, Xenoblade uh, the uh, yesterday for a little bit. Um, about midway through, I believe. Uh, I'm not going to really talk much about it here because... Uh, just in case of spoilers and stuff, but yeah, it's a game I'm enjoying. Um, there's the thing with the like RPGs, JRPGs especially, is that they they're like they're like 50 light years long, and um, it, they're, they're long, they're long games. So you know, I, I'm like nearly 50 hours in, I'm like 48 hours in Xenoblade, and I'm like just now getting into the halfway mark, I think. So, you know, that's the thing. Uh, but anyways, um, as far as, okay, I want, okay, cool. Is that second or third? Second, okay. I'm a little bit worried about that mini mushroom we missed, though, because that usually means there's a seat, there's a tiny pipe. And I need to stop taking stupid hits like that. And yes, I was right, okay, just kill me. At least they have the courtesy of, uh, the, of uh, giving us a mini mushroom in the stage this time. Um, but as far as like power ups go, like the mini mushroom is fine. Um, I don't have too much of an issue with it, but it's. I, I mainly like it for the. Um, like I said in the previous parts, I like it for the. Um, the fact the fact that it has gives you a lot of unique uh, puzzle opportunities or like unique ideas you can make for the levels that like you have. Uh, tiny pipes you can go through, and you um, you can run on water, uh, which makes for some fun little um, uh, side, like secret um, secret pipes into like coin, into like a coin area where you get a bunch of coins and stuff like that. Um, and there's let me get this again. Pri primar um preferably by not jumping into the Cooper. But, yeah, I, I like the mini mushroom for the, 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 um, f for the fact that it gives you, um, interesting ways to, uh, traverse through the levels, and, uh, you can use it to access two other worlds in the game, uh, which I think is pretty cool, but as far as, like, an actual power-up goes, I am not the biggest fan of it, uh, just for the fact that, like, it's, it's hard enough to, like, it's re it's really difficult to, like, kill enemies in this form because you have to ground pound, I think, like, for really anything, for it to really do any sort of damage. And, um, oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Alright. Wait. I forget. Is the thing down here? No, it's in the other room. Alright. But... Yeah, in terms of just moving around with this thing, when it's not- when you're not running on water to do like a- to get a bunch of coins and stuff... Ah, oh, man, that guy's fast. When you're not doing that, um, it's kind of annoying to handle. Especially since I don't have a spin mo- a, a spin- a jump spin or whatever to adjust myself in the air. So, yeah, you don't have much leniency. I mean, you're very floaty compared to normal Mario, so you have time to, like, land, uh, um, appropriately, I suppose, but, I don't know, man, um, I, I'm not a fan of, like, how you, how m Mini Mario plays overall, compared to just, um, normal Mario. I, again, I, 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 I ap appreciate it, uh, for the fact that it introduces some cool, ideas but you know um i i do i do uh, uh i do really like the uh, blue shell uh power up though i think it's an i really shouldn't like try to 
I'm <laughs> I'm just trying to sink. Like I'm not even trying to fight that guy. Uh, maybe if I could just ground pound it. Oh man. Oh, okay. Actually, no, I don't want that early. Oopsie daisy. Oh my goodness. Wait, I wonder. Yo, yeah, screw you, level design. I can cheat. Oh my goodness, that's great. Oh, okay. Jump and get the coin. And actually get the star coin, please. Or get into the pipe. Which is not gonna have the star coin on, be sad. No, 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 no. Okay, uh. Oh, okay. Ugh. Oh. I think they're called Skeeters, I'm not entirely sure, and I don't like how it's- I see a bunch of tiny Goombas. Ugh, dang it. Do I need to even- was this even worth it? I mean, I could have gone that mo- oh my goodness, I thought I died. No! Ah, oh, goodness. I hate how, like, they just, like, stand there for a little bit, and then they just go swoop. Alright, you know what? Screw you and your mini mushroom. And screw you and your puzzle. I can cheat. I can cheese it. Oh, goodness. Alright, I hope I can just get to, um... The third star coin without that, then. Because, um... That would very... That would be very good. No oh, man. Okay. This is not good. I can, I can still reach that, I think. Yes. Just about. And let's just move on with the level like normal, I suppose. Despite where we are. Uh. Oh, okay. Um. And I probably needed the mini mushroom because. The way the coins are laid out. Ah, dang it. Okay, at the very least, I don't have to go down that stupid pipe. So that's a plus. I've been on this level for way too long. It's not even a hard level, I'm just failing. I'm really... I've been out of the Mario mood. So, you know, that doesn't help things. I can't believe you can actually do that, that's kind of funny. I mean... I think in Mario Maker stages, you can, like, go, um, above the highest block you can put in the in the map. Like, if you... Uh, how, do, how do I say this? It's like... Say, okay, so you put, like, a block at the the highest altitude possible um, for to when you make a stage. I think it's possible to jump over that, if that makes sense. I mean, I'm explaining this horribly, but... Yeah, man. Whatever. Either way, level's over. <laughs> oh, nice, we got um, double digits. Well, it wasn't intentional, but cool. And that's a mushroom. Uh, yeah, sure. I'd like to save these as much as, as, much as possible, because I don't know when I'm going to need a certain power-up. Alright, cool. I can deal with that. I'm going to put- I'm going to keep that in my reserves. Alright, time for level three. Well, three, two, technically, but still. Third level. And I don't want mini mushroom for this. So give me that mushroom and we'll be good to go. Never mind! 
Oh, okay, it's one of those things. I was supposed to use the Cooper shell. That's cool. Oh my- Oh! Okay! That was actually kind of clever. I like that. Alright, let's uh, not fail like idiots this time. <laughs> So if I just aim this right, oh dang it, whatever. I can get one from this one though. Nice. Okay, I'm just gonna check. Okay, no beanstalk. Sometimes they hide uh, beanstalks in uh, very obscure places sometimes in these games. Like there's one in... Um, Mario U, um, in World 2, that is, like, like cr evilly placed, and, um, I'm amazed I found that without a guide. It took ages, mind you, but, jeez, they place those things in, like, the most obscure places sometimes. Most of the time, uh, I just went in, I don't know. Yeah, I did. Oops. I gotta, gotta go through here again. Um, but now, most of the time, they, it's, um, pretty obvious where one would be like it's usually in um, places you'd expect I guess like um, in the middle of a free stack um, death <laughs> a free a free stack uh, uh, block thing like three blocks in a row and there's like a hidden block in the middle um, I mean, um, well, I really don't want that. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna ignore you. Sorry. Because the Mega Mushroom, Mega Mushroom can actually screw you over sometimes when it comes to secrets. Because you can break pipes with it. Um, like any pipe. It doesn't even matter if it's, um, a pipe you can't go in. Um, so, like, if you needed to go into a pipe that had a star coin in it, um, but you broke it with a Mega Mushroom, you're, you kind of need to just kill yourself or something, because, uh, yeah, you aren't getting into that pipe. Yeah, I had a feeling there was something in one of these. So, get these, get these coins. Get some of these lives we, um, come, that could have been better, but whatever. Uh, get some of these lives we've, uh, lost stupidly. I need to be a bit more careful. Yeah. Oh, this is a secret exit. Okay. I, I... <laughs> I, I cannot play this game today. Oh, man. Man, I've, I've never been... I, I'm better at the, the, um, the, uh, what was it? The home console, New Super Mario Bros. Because I feel like I'm a little, have a little bit more control. Um, mainly for the uh, spin jump. The game control's fine here, it's just, it just feels weird without that, and, um, I don't know. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just the fact that I haven't played these games in years. Not count- Well, even there with Mario Maker, I haven't played that in a while. Uh, but... Yeah, I don't know. I've always been kind of just alright at 2D Mario. Um... I consider myself pretty good at Mario Wii and U. But, as a whole... Um... Yeah, I'm not- I'm... Yeah, no. I- I- I am much better at 3D Mario than I am 2D. But today, like, it's just... Uh, man, this is just horrible. <laughs> I'm not having... Man. I'm not... I'm really, like, screwing up. Like, I... I man. I don't know. Okay, can we please... Like, move on with our lives. <laughs> and, um... Get into the secret exit.
At least we can get some coins here. That's appreciated. Okay, 57. And, um... I guess it's also because um, the um, console games usually have a power-up that lets you stay in the uh, air for a long time. You have the propeller suit, propeller suit and the, um, the, um, uh, what's it? What's the thing for Mario U? Um, honestly, I honestly don't remember. Oh, man. Okay. Jump, you stupid plumber. There we go. Flying scroll, I think, or something like that. I, I don't know. Uh, and that is free B, I assume. Yep. Okay, we're gonna do we're gonna do that next. But first, we're gonna finish up this level. But I I think the, these games are mo more enjoyed more more in you you can enjoy these games more as full packages. Um. Okay. Good. You're a red one. Um, because when you, um, ay 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 When you just go from start to finish and just fight Bowser, it's a fun enough time, but, uh, and it's good for, like, players who want, like, a general, like, uh, just have a good time, don't want, like, a crazy challenge, um, but a decent enough challenge to satisfy your ap appetite, I suppose, then you can just do that, but, um, I like that... You have- I cannot hit that block! <laughs> oh well. Um... I, I like how you have star coins and secret exits to satisfy those looking for a more, um, interesting challenge, because... I- I really do like the star coins, I don't know... Again, it's been a long time, so I don't know how- how much I talked about this in particular, but... I really do like how the star coins encourage, um, a bit of exploration and most of the time you can see them but it's just a risk to go after them and it, ju it just feels really rewarding to find them and I like that they the way they um, place them is that you okay at least you have a checkpoint um, the way they do it is that you can tell how far in the level they are because uh, like you get the second one first and, you be and you're like oh okay so I missed the first one so I got um, backpad a little a little bit or like um figure out what i missed and stuff like that um because that that that, uh, that works a lot better when you uh, structure optional collectibles um like star coins in 2d games i think that works the be i did not even hold up <laughs> oh you can get coins so whatever um i think that works the best for 2d games like this where where it's like you know what uh, gen the general area uh, you're looking for, and um, I can't go back. Seriously, I don't want to go to the secret exit though. Oh my goodness! <laughs> um, that was cool for about five seconds. I like how that block is so constantly going to the car- the, uh, fortress or whatever. I almost died. I died. Ha ha! Ay, ay, Man, that is really weird. <laughs> Blocks on top of each other. Alright. Don't go in the pipe. Goodness. Oh! Uh, man. That- those are really tight, like... Okay. Whatever. I could have done with that, but... Uh. Why is it stop towing so far to the left? Oh 
Oh man, that is so nice after failing for like 50 times. Okay. I do not know what this level is. Uh. You know what? This this actually reminds uh, reminds me a little bit of um, a stage from Mario F Mario Frey, um, where it was like I think you were just like up in pipes. You're going for a pipe. A uh, level like this, and um, there's a bunch of like mini munchers, like mun mini munchers, I believe. I don't know. It's been a while. I also see tiny pipes up there, which worries me a little bit. Might have to come back. None of these pipes go anywhere, really. Oh, huh. That is interesting. Don't know how I'm. So yeah, I see tiny pipe. Yeah, that that. Oh man, I don't really think I like that. Yeah, they're just gonna munch. I'm not too worried. Uh. What? What do I need for- like, do I- am I just aiming for a mini mushroom here? Because if that's the case, hold on. Yeah. Okay, no. Ah. It, it's hard to see in the first place, this. Let me- It's not even giving me a mini mushroom. So I don't really understand why... Wait. They wouldn't put something up there, would they? That's, that's no way. They can't. I am confused. What was the point of that? This is confusing. That looks something I can probably get. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Wait. I think I know what to do. Yep. Uh, so I guess the the trick in the other level wasn't entirely um, like breaking the game because they used that as a mechanic. It's kind of cool, actually. I appreciate this game for thinking outside the box with the with its um, ideas and such. Because um, come the other games, um, like they're still they're they're function they're they're fun enough games. And again, I do enjoy finding all the star coins and all that, but. Mario, um, I don't know, man. Like, Mario U, I think, is the best one in the series. I think it's up there against Mario World, in my honest opinion, but, um... Actually, no, I didn't want to play the level. Um, uh, Mario, um, Mario Wii, some, sometimes, and especially New Mario 2, uh, feels very by the, by the numbers, I guess you could say. And, um, they don't try to be as clever with its level design, I find. I mean, again, it's been a long time since I played any of these games, so my opinion could change. And I do enjoy these games as- uh, I, I do enjoy these games enough on their own, so. Okay, good. Oh man, this is gonna be kind of ugly, to be honest. Don't like how this is gonna go. Um. Oh, um, wait. No, this is the area I was in before. 
Oh, wait. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm blind. Apparently. That makes more sense, because, um... Yeah, it seemed like there was nothing of worth in that area. Can you, like, not... Not exist? Okay. Um, man, do I hate it when they just confuse you? Yo. <laughs> Screw it, let's just end the level. That was MOG, though. Yeah, you're gonna hate it when they just put place like a bunch of tiny pipes everywhere just to confuse you. Freezy, what is this?